Hey everyone, my name is Nolan and welcome back to another Pixel Gun 3D Repoint Review. And today we're going to be taking on the Trader's Van. And yes, guys, if you're wondering, this is recorded right after I recorded the last video. So it's going to be pre-recorded because um, I don't know if I'll have time to record this. And also, I don't want to risk them taking away the weapon before I get a chance to use it. So yeah, we're going to be reviewing this heavy weapon on my uh, computer really quick just so we can kind of know what this weapon is like um, and then we'll also review the other two weapons so yeah if you want to see more pixel gun content like this make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more pixel gun content and if somehow you missed it um, i already reviewed all the weapons in this update so you can check that out uh, on the card on the screen or whatever or also link down in the description uh, you guys can see all the other weapons reviewed in this update so yeah we have the festive eliminator which has super rocket jump and critical damage and then ammo steel which I don't know if that exists. However, that might actually be a thing on dislike, but I can't really remember. So first off, before I actually test this in gameplay, and by the way, I'm gonna skip a damage test. Drot's definitely already done that. I'm sure there's other YouTubers who already have already tested it. So yeah, we'll just kind of jump into block crash and then we'll see here um, uh, how good it is in block crash. I will because there actually are a few people who uh, ask me in these update reviews to test weapons out in block crash because some people actually like grinding block crash for some reason um i personally do not like this game mode at all um that's i, I understand why people could like it but yeah um i per oh oh the super rocket jump actually works on this oh that is definitely a super rocket jump that is a super rocket jump if i've ever seen one okay so that actually might be really good for this game mode then because you have the height advantage so yeah Honestly, this weapon is probably going to be pretty good. Like, look at that. Look at how many uh, tiles it kills at one time. Um, yeah, this is probably going to be really good. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so I think that that one, like, acid dude I have to worry about. Um, I feel like my field of view is also very tiny. All right, let's see if I can kill this guy right here. Oh, I almost got him. Is he dead? Oh, ooh, I almost died. <laughs> I caught myself on the wall, luckily. Um, where is this guy? Die. Dang it, I missed. All right, I don't know. I'm not going to win this game, so I'm just going to die before I embarrass myself again. So now it's time to test this out in a real game. Does the super rocket jump... Ooh, so it looks like the super rocket jump... I think it still kind of works. I feel like that maybe, in general, the super rocket jump is actually supposed to be, like, different for every game mode, which is very interesting. And <laughs> I think this guy knows <laughs> what my name is a reference to. Um, but yeah, it's time to actually... Oh, so that was a three shot. And I'm assuming that that guy had ultimate defense armor, um, which is very interesting. So this is the second heavy in this update that uh, is only a three shot. And I'm sorry, I can't move my camera, bro. What is going on? Um, this is such an annoying bug, and I don't know why that happens. One, I can't even, I can't even get two shots off before I die. This game is crazy. Um, I, I don't get that. There was no one there. I look away for a split second, and then next thing you know, there's there's a dude there. Okay, there's a guy right there. Die, die, die. Okay, I don't know. I feel like that this isn't really that good. I'll be honest. It's good in block crash, but already I'm I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it. And also, guys, I can't put on modules or wear to test this, unfortunately, because I don't have modules or wear to put on. So, yeah, that's kind of a wait. Does this have critical? Does it have critical? I'm I'm actually curious now. Okay, yes, it does have critical, so that changes things, because that means it could two-shot. However, guys, like I said in the last video, I actually don't really like weapons that, like, are have critical in general, because, like, it's just it just generally leads to kind of inconsistent gameplay, apart from automatics where you're shooting so many shots at once that it doesn't really matter. But, like, weapons like this just generally have, like, inconsistent gameplay because of the fact that like you have to rely on the critical to do good jam damage and the critical is only a has only a chance of happening die let's go i actually got that guy die nope okay i don't know it's i feel like it's all right it's not that good it's probably better with modules and stuff but um i don't know i just feel like gameplay is probably gonna be generally too inconsistent for me to care to ever use this weapon so yeah do i recommend getting it probably not um it's probably still like the best weapon in the traders van but man this uh this uh how is he invincible bro what why are you, why is that an l too i don't know there's there's a lot of bugs with this game i'll be honest but yeah i don't know i don't know i think let's move on to the other weapons i think that's what we'll do 
Okay, yes, a long time has passed since the last clip. However, college things. Anyways, we're gonna continue reviewing this Trader's Van. I'm sorry guys, this video is gonna get out to you guys later than I was anticipating. Um, it's gonna get out to you guys maybe like 5 p.m. Uh, my time, and I initially wanted it to be like 6 a.m. my time. So yeah, you guys can see how much of an effect college can have on one. But basically, um, we're, we're now doing our Aborus. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Um, and if I remember correctly, this backup was actually really, really good upon its initial release. And as you guys can see right now, even, um, I have, I have no wear on, but I do have level seven modules on and looks like it actually is doing pretty dang good. Um, it has travel time and it also has like fire rockets. So you kind of have to take in that all into account but it also has like that reload thing where it does damage on reloading which is pretty cool um however i don't really see anyone get kills with that too much and i'm also kind of like wondering if there's a little bit of delay between when i actually hit the person and when they receive damage but that could just be me being crazy but nonetheless this this weapon is still getting quite a bit of kills i'm it's not even doing bad i'm not gonna lie um so you guys are probably maybe wondering what you guys should get in this trader's van um i'll just say i don't think that the professional bow is the weapon to get it it sucks if you guys didn't see my using every sniper uh video yeah professional bow is probably one of the worst snipers in the entire game however the heavy seems like it's halfway decent maybe for block crash and this backup is also kind of like halfway decent um, but it's not going to be good in long range games so just keep that in mind so honestly guys i would say save especially if you don't have a lot of extra gems to spare i'd say saving is definitely the way to go for this trader's van don't really i don't really think it's a spendy trader's van um but yeah maybe uh we can see if professional bow will do any better it is a travel time area damage sniper that isn't supposed to one shot like that um, it, it normally doesn't one shot even a headshot. However, I could be wrong. This dude has uh, ultimate defense armor, so we can test it on him. But um, it's kind of hard to hit my shots. I'm pretty sure that this is one of the weapons where you can't actually even see the projectile. Let me see here. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, so I'm just wrong. Um, and also, it has like a scope on it, but you can't actually scope in, I think. Yeah, my scope button doesn't appear, so... That's an interesting thing. It uh, looks like it does actually one-shot headshot fully charged. Um, I'll put the damage on screen just because I might be crazy. And also, it looks like not a lot of people have ultimate defense armor in this game. But yeah, once you get against those ultimate defense armor players, which is like sweaty uh, high skill three cat players, you know, um, yeah, this 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 bow will start to break down, especially like there's just way better bows to get i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure you can get dragon bite with 1000 coupons um and that's just a better bow to have than this one in general i could be completely wrong on that in fact now that i'm thinking about it i'm second guessing myself and i might actually be completely wrong um but i, I mean this is not even doing bad it's not doing bad and now I'm also second guessing myself on everything that I thought I knew about Pixel Gun. I don't know what to think anymore. What do I think? Is thinking even relevant? I don't know. Guys, I'm having a mental crisis. 25 kills with both weapons is not bad. I'll be honest. I'm gonna play one more game here just to get a little bit more gameplay in because that was only one game with both weapons combined. So I'll just do one more game here and a bit more open of a map. Um, and you guys might start to see that like, oh, did I get it? No, I didn't get the kill with the, oh, but I did get a burning kill. Interesting. Okay. So I hope you guys will maybe start to see that once the rain starts to open up a little bit, the weapons start to break down because of like that travel time and it makes it harder to compete. And this is actually definitely a more sweaty lobby. We got people using like dreams warden and three cat and ultimate defense armor. So it might the gameplay might be a lot worse but that's that's kind of the point you know kind of the point you know gotta gotta show different circumstances and this guy is matching modules too which makes it even worse um however of course against the bots does pretty dang good but yeah i don't think i'm gonna pass third place not when using our boris and uh professional bow maybe okay never mind i was gonna i was about to say maybe our boris 
is actually capable of winning games because it actually seems pretty good you just kind of need to have that skill but like in this fight here where he has sentence and i have our boris at that range i'm not winning that fight i can promise you that um i'm not that good uh, i'm sure we all know that but maybe a professional bow will be a different story we'll just have to find out here i doubt it but we'll see okay you just up and died okay that was a really bad shot and then i died okay cool um i'm gonna snipe this dude maybe yes okay he was definitely weak um i don't know if that guy was weak that bot just died okay i want to see if i can like damage someone who hasn't taken damage yet but this guy is definitely taking damage still managed to kill him you you're dead one shot headshot nice bot i killed him nice one shot body shot which is pretty cool maybe they buffed this weapon and i just didn't know it um because i do not remember it doing this much damage ever looks like uh it's not doing half bad like but against this orange guy here who uh has ultimate defense armor um i'm not one-shotting him especially body shot and i think that i'm not even one shot headshotting him um but i don't know because i don't i'm dumb and i didn't look at the damage so yeah i guess we can just go by gameplay that's what that's what we do here on this channel we go by gameplay dang it bro Alright guys, as this match ends here, I'm also going to end the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe for more Pixel Gun reviews like this. And yeah, I'd like to thank you guys all for watching and I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Peace.